Well, city transit officials are rolling out new technology on trains in an effort to solve crimes. The MTA says it's installed hidden surveillance cameras on dozens of train cars over the past few weeks. CBS News Elijah Westbrook is live from the 72nd Street subway station on the Upper West Side with more on what we know about the pilot program. Elijah. Well, Chris and Mary, transit officials tell us that they have already installed these cameras, these hidden cameras, if you will, on at least 65 subway cars citywide. Now, we should mention this is a pilot program that's expected to run over the next six weeks, and it's all an effort to crack down on crime happening in the subway system. Smile, you may be on camera on your next morning commute to work. That's because the MTA is confirming it's installed hidden surveillance cameras on select subway cars throughout the system. The footage these cameras gather can only be viewed by police in an effort to collect evidence and ultimately help solve transit crimes. A detective could have lost his life. The move comes after a detective with 10 years experience was assaulted on the platform of the number three line at the Pennsylvania Avenue station in East New York Tuesday night. The detective was working alone as part of Mayor Adams' new initiative to have transit cops on solo patrols. If you look at the history of uh, policing in transit, and you look at the transit police officers that were killed, most of them were killed doing sing single person patrol. The NYPD issued this statement, reading in part, quote, We are continuing with the solo patrol concept by spreading officers out on post, but with the caveat that they will be within sight of one another. This will increase visibility of police officers looking out for the riding public while at the same time looking out for each other. The conversation was really, how do we reach the goal that we want? How do we get the omnipresence and how do we make sure that our officers are safe? And we uh, came with a real meeting of the mind of let's have the separated solo patrol stay in eyesight of each other. We asked Paul DiGiacomo what it means for cops to be within sight of one another. Well, uh, being in eyesight, is you would probably be on the next car. Uh, and you could see from car to car to make sure that you're okay. Or at every stop, both officers uh, would stick their head out and look and make sure that they're okay. And back here live, as far as those hidden surveillance cameras are concerned, the MTA president says additional cameras will be installed on more trains pending the completion of this pilot program. That it also includes the system's newest cars, the R211s. We're live right now from the Upper West Side. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.